Hi guys, my name's Melanie Newman and this is Trey the Miniature Poodle and in today's grooming session I'm going to show you how to clip poodle feet. The equipment we are going to use today is, sit down buddy, sit down, good boy, is I have a pair of wild creative uh, clippers. These clippers are great, they have a five in one blade which ranges from 0.7 millimeters to three millimeters. And we'll probably do the 0.7 millimeters because I like his feet super, super short. And I also have our flexi slicker and we are going to be using the softer side today. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to clip Trey's feet on the shortest length in these five in one. So that's going to be 0.7 millimeters. If your dog has um, sensitive skin and is prone to get clipper irritation um, or has never had their feet clipped before, I would recommend that you go to the longest length and we just do that by pushing the bottom of the clipper um, I would recommend, I think it's around three millimeters and that's a longest length and you'll still get a really short, nice tight foot. But before we begin, I'm just going to see how Trey's going to react when I put the clipper on his foot. Sit down buddy, good boy. Sometimes he pulls a little bit, um, but he seems to be fine today. We'll see how we go. So. With all my videos, I always place a non-slip mat on my benches so my dog's not going to slide around and he feels really, really comfortable when we're clipping. When we clip our feet, and similar to when we've done previous videos on clipping out pads, I like to just pull their leg out frontwards, so not too high where they're uncomfortable. Um, and if you do need somebody behind holding your dog, you can. My dogs are pretty well trained. I really, really get them conditioned to grooming quite young. When clipping out our pads, I like to start with our V coming through here. So similar to our clipping pads video. So what I'm going to do, he feels really comfortable. So I'm going to turn on my clipper and I'm just going to scoop out that V. If you see the end of our little pad here, this is going to be our line that is going to come around the front of our dog's foot where we're going to clip up to. So that's where our measure is. But what we need to do is, is just take out this small amount of hair through here with our clipper. So I'm going to turn it on. And come up. And I'm not going to go any further than I'm not going to go any further than that, the edge of that pad here. So what we can do now is just come up the sides of our foot to that point of our pad. And that's going to start that line around the front of the foot. Once we've clipped out our triangle underneath, I'm just flip the foot back around and I'm going to pop my little index finger into that little triangle area underneath. So what this does is it actually pushes out the webbing in between the dog's pads as we're clipping. So once our dog is comfortable, then we're going to start actually clipping the toes. So I'm going to turn on my clipper and with my clipper I'm mostly going to be using one side of my clipper so I don't need to use this whole blade so I'm just using either side as I'm manoeuvring around 
those little toes. So let's start our first toe. I've got my index finger underneath to make sure that webbing's nice and tight. And I'm just going to gently start scooping around his little toes, being ever so gentle. And I like to just do my toes first. So into that webbing and just scooping that out. And maneuvering that blade and just using the corners so I can get a precise, nice, short foot. And now we're going to do our second toe and I haven't gone past our pad, past that point, because that's going to be our line for our poodle foot. So let's begin our second toe. Again, just scooping gently around that nail and not pressing too hard, just let the clipper do the work for you. And just using the corner of the clipper and I'm going to pop my index finger in that webbing and just gently scoop out that foot. I have finished clipping his front feet, so now we need to clip his back feet. And the way I like to support their leg while I'm clipping, I generally support them and hold their knee while I'm clipping. Once I have Trey all comfortable and he's feeling good, I can now start the same process as we did with the front feet. So I'm going to start with our pads and with our triangle first. So exactly the same process. And then clicking at the back of the pad, we don't want to go too high. Remember, this is our line for when we're clipping the front of the foot. And once again, I am just going to use my index finger or my middle finger just to push through that webbing when we're clipping it so it pulls it nice and tight so we're not going to cut or irritate that that skin on our dog's toes and we always go in reverse when we're clipping our dog's poodle feet we are having trouble clipping around these little nails because the hair is sort of sticking to that nail what we can do is just pick up our slicker and just gently brush that hair upwards and that'll help loosen it for when we are going to clip it I'm putting my middle finger in the middle webbing just so we can clip and make sure that skin is super super tight when we're clipping and clipping in reverse and pushing our middle finger up into that webbing and just gently scooping out that hair. And getting nice and close to those nails. On the top of our foot it's coming in to meet that line that we created from the back of our dog's pad.
if you have little tufts of hair that you can't quite get with the clippers because they're lying really close to the nail, what we can do is just pick up our slicker and just gently move that hair away from the nail. And then picking up our clipper and removing those hairs. An important area that we want to avoid is our dog's webbing through this area here. So when we're clipping that area, we never want to come straight directly in there because it will cut the webbing. That's why I always just recommend just coming in through our triangle and just cross-checking with our slicker all the time, making sure we get all those little tufts of hair. If you find that it's really hard to groom your dog this direction, out here because your dog's pulling a lot, a good tip is to come behind your dog so your dog's nice and supported by your body weight here and clipping this way because you've got more control of your dog pulling as you're clipping. So we have completed all four paws so he's very very happy with himself now he doesn't have hairy feet anymore. If you liked our video or if you've got any questions please pop them below and until next time happy home grooming.